Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy JRob447 back at it again with some NCAA football 14 Buffalo Bulls Dynasty. You guys see it. We're going up against my Miami of Ohio, and this is another Ohio team. Somebody said in the comments last video that there are a lot of teams in Ohio, and they ain't lying because they got Akron, Ohio, all these teams, man. It's unbelievable. I mean, I guess they're right because it's the Mid American Conference, but that's that's just insane. Now Miami, they are not a very good team. But their running back, he's pretty good. You guys saw last game. Whew, Toledo, uh, their wide receiver was absolutely killing us. I think his name was Alfonso Phillips or something like that. And he, he was killing us. So Devin Campbell back there return. The kick is up. And he gets it, takes it from two yards deep in the end zone. He's going to find the outside edge. He's got running room, but he gets tracked down out of bounds for a 47-yard return. Now, did y'all see that Panthers game, though? That's right, baby. We going to the Super Bowl. Now, honestly, I have been so spoiled. Last year, Ohio State, one of my favorite teams, my favorite team in college football, they made it to the national championship. That same year in October, the Mets made it to the World Series. Now, this year, the Panthers going to the Super Bowl? Boy, this is crazy. 2015 slash 16. Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. It's a really, really good time for me right now. And you guys see Anthony Taylor picking up the first down. His legs don't stop. That's a quick lesson for you kids playing football now. Don't stop moving your legs. Keep going. So, Joe Licata dropping back to pass. Finds Ron Willoughby for the first down. A 15-yard reception for him. So first and goal, set up shop from the seven. They're going to hand it off to Anthony Taylor. He's going to make a few guys miss and picks up four yards on that carry. So second and goal from the third three-yard line. And Jordan Johnson punches it in for the two-yard score. So we go up 6-0, but we do make the extra point, which will make it 7-0. So Miami of Ohio, I believe their name are the Hawks. I I am sure their name is the Hawks. If not, then I am wrong, honestly. So, it's first down and 10. Krumer, 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 whatever his last name is, completes the pass to Sam for about eight yards. So, it's third and one. We could stop him or we could give up the first. And our defense is too good. Spencer McGinnis could not pick up the first down. So... They will have to punt it away. So fourth and four. They run a fake. And they get the first down. Yo. They ran the fake on us, dude. That's crazy. Now that. Now that. that that's crazy. And their quarterback, Drew Coomer, has so much time to run. But he got, he got leveled on that one. So third and two. A minute and 41 left in the first quarter. The sending man of motion and Coomer. That was a bad read because if he pitched it, it would have been a first down. So, fourth and five again. I'm going safe because I do not want that to happen again, even though the probability of them doing that twice in a row is, is really low. Like, really low. So, we take it from the 20, first down and 10. Anthony Taylor didn't pick up a lot. Got one yard, barely one yard. So, first, so it's going to be third and four. Joe Licata dropping back. Finds Matt Weiser over the middle. That is that patented play. Actually, it was Marcus McGill. But the 5-1-8 hook. If you, got, if you got that play on your offense, I swear, use it. It busts any coverage. So, Ron Willoughby catches a ball for seven yards. So, that's going to make it second and three. And we're around midfield. Joe Licata dropping back. Finds Ron Willoughby, Ron Willoughby once again for the first down. So, Ron Willoughby already getting the day started good. And Anthony Taylor getting the day started good as well as he picks up 14 yards for the first down. So, first and 10 from the 15. Joe Licata, we're running a little read. Joe Licata has room to run. Joe Licata, whoo, you didn't know my boy Joe Licata could run like that. So, second down and one. We throw it off to Anthony Taylor who gets a receiving touchdown this time. That will make it 13 to 0. The Hawks have yet to get on the scoreboard. So, 14 0. Coomers dropping back. He could have ran, but he, he dumped it off to his wide receiver, uh, Williams, to pick up seven yards. So, we're going to cover two man. 
right now because um, I, I like man coverage, but they run the read and they get the first down. Coomer with a three yard rush. So we're going man, uh, cover two once again. Coomer is running, but he is chased out the pocket and gets sacked for negative eight yards. So cover two one more time. Second down to 18. We get McKinnis in the backfield. So two really good plays on defense. Let's see if he can hold up. We go cover four because I'm scared that he's going to throw it. But he gets sacked regardless. And that's going to make it fourth and 24. And we get the ball back. So from the 25-yard line, Joe Licata dropping back with two minutes left in the first half. And he completes a big ball to Matt Weiser. And that's going to put us over the 50. That play really changed the field position a lot. And another big pass to Matt Weiser. This one's going to be for 24 yards. So first down and 10 from the fifth, from the 16-yard line. Going to hand it off to Jordan Johnson. Jordan Johnson picks up about 8 yards on that one. So that's going to make it a second and 2. 31, we did not get it done on second down. So we're going to have to get it down on... Uh, this down and Matt Weiser getting a carry. Wow, that's that's rare. That's very rare. But we do not have a lot of fullback death. I mean, Jordan Johnson is our fullback. Unbelievable, right? Yeah. So Ron Willoughby catches the ball for a touchdown. That will make it 21-0. Miami. They gotta get on the board somehow, some way, man. So we drop back Fink into coverage. Waylon Fink, because this is gonna end the half. And Drew Coomer could not complete it. That will end the half, 21 to 0. Now, if I was playing somebody at my house, if you know anything about uh, football rules, 21 blowout. If you're getting beat by 21, you got to pass the sticks, okay? You And I think uh, Miami needs to pass sticks to the next, next opponent because they're getting creamed right now. Creamed. So, you guys see... We're leading in time of possession, rushing yards, and passing yards. So this is an overall dominant game. But we have, we don't get a lot of interceptions. We are not the greatest team when it comes to forcing turnovers. In fact, sometimes we even shoot ourselves in the foot. And we cannot let big plays like that happen again. So second down and eight. McKinnis gets it. And oh, we had a shot to get him in the backfield. But we did not capitalize. So Drew Coomer dropping back. Does not find his receiver. And that is going to make it fourth and five. So that's going to set up a field goal. I'm going safe because, you know, you know, they like to do that fake stuff. You know, they do that fake stuff, that fake stuff. Then they complete the field goal. I mean, they, they make the field goal. So it's going to make it a 21 to three game. So four minutes left in the third quarter. We're going to complete it to Ron Willoughby one more time. He has been catching a lot of balls this game. I think that's his fourth reception. Either way, we hand it off to Jordan Johnson, and Jordan Johnson picks up the first down and nine-yard rush. Both of our running backs have been running pretty well this game, and that's what I like to see. So, Joe Licata dropping back, finds Matt Weiser for the first down. So, it's three minutes left in the third quarter. Joe Licata rolling out. He's going to pass it to Kevin Rogers as he was getting chased down. And Kevin Rogers gets the first down. So first down and 10, handing it off to uh, Devin Campbell getting the carry. Everybody getting carries. This is like Oprah out here. You get a carry. You get a carry. You get a carry. You get a carry. So third down and three with two minutes left in the third quarter. Joe Licata dropping back. Finds the lineman Davis. And Andre Davis, the lineman, catches a pass. Everybody is out here eating, okay? So it's 56 seconds left. In the third quarter, Mark, Matt Weiser, I mean, scores the touchdown to make it a 28-3 to ball game. And we got the ball back, so Jacob Martinez, you want to get this sweep for your boy? Jacob Martinez picks up about five yards on that sweep. So we're, we're trying to air it out longer this one. Joe Licata dropping back to pass. Finds Martinez for a 43-yard reception. Everybody eating out here. Everybody, so we hand it off to Jordan Johnson, and Jordan Johnson gets a six yard rush. And I believe uh, Anthony Taylor left early for I think with a concussion, so that's why you're seeing Jordan Johnson get so many carries. And he gets in the end zone for the second time this ball game. Yo, we got some good depth, and Jordan Johnson's a junior, so he will be here next year to carry on. But don't count out my Aunt Me yet as they score a touchdown. That is Williams who gets the touchdown. So about a minute left. We're up by 25. This game almost over. But Jordan Johnson, he said, I ain't over. 
I ain't done yet. So, Joe Lakata dropping back to pass once more. He's going to find his receiver wiser. Four. Nine yards. So, third and goal. We're going to hand this one off. Actually, we're going to put Andre Davis as the fullback. Who Andre Davis, you didn't block anybody. You didn't block anybody. Come on. We put you there for a reason. Come on. Either way, Jordan John still punches in on fourth and goal. So that will basically seal the deal out here in Miami. You know, we're going to end up winning 42 to 10. Total domination. The Hawks or whatever they are, I'm pretty, I am sure they are the Hawks. We go out here, we get that victory. And it was an easy one. A lot of games you guys seen weren't a lot of easy games. But Jordan Johnson, your player of the game. I mean, he was definitely a difference maker. With Anthony Taylor going down, he came in and he did what he had to do. And, you know, you could have gave it to Joe Licata as well. Because Joe Licata had a well-handled game out there. This is the kind of games I like. But Joe Licata did throw an interception. I didn't show it because it really had no effect on the game at all. So, you guys see. Anthony Taylor did, in fact, leave early, but either way, we got the victory, and you guys see, my Weiser had another big day, but Ron Willoughby, six receptions, that's big, okay, but anyway, it's been another J-Rock.